want diverse voices around the table because that's the only way we overcome each of our blind spots. I think in tech, we've seen some overblown expectations that have not been met. For companies that have decided that trust is really important, I think you have to start with your purpose. I live through the Web 1 or the Web 2 or in the Web 3 but the reality is the world around that web is just fundamentally different. People are trusting technology less because it's changed so fast causing people to really step back and think what's going on in their lives, and trust is at the core of that. To build a culture of trust, you need such things as empathy and the ability to understand what it's like to be in someone else's shoes. You have to communicate, and you also have to make sure that your values are crystal clear. The pace of change is so rapid right now, it means that old models don't necessarily work. If you're a leader, you're going to have to explore to find which models will work today, tomorrow, and the day after. All of the companies here are talking about the need for regulation. And of course, what they want regulation for is so they have some certainty about how they operate their businesses. What are the guardrails that they should be paying attention to? Currently, we have a patchwork of state laws, which creates confusion for consumers and businesses don't understand their responsibilities. And Washington takes a while to catch up, but regulation is coming. Basically, out of nowhere, blockchain invented this way to, to transact in a central fashion. And then on top of that, I, I think crypto gave us a way to actually embed value in a technology. Money is at the core of business, and money as we know it is changing radically. And as a business, you need to understand that. The coolest thing about the Emerging Tech Exchange is when we go into the Next Tech Studio and we get hands-on experience with technologies that researchers and entrepreneurs are really bringing to market in new ways that create trust. The magic of Proto is that it creates presence. It's actually real. Zoom call feels like they're somewhere else. It creates a, an emotional reaction, a chemical reaction that you don't get on a typical video call. AI is becoming ubiquitous and it's really transforming every aspect of our lives, but nobody's really thinking about the human elements. And so artificial emotional intelligence or emotion AI is the best way to do this. Moxie creates a relationship with a child and then works with them on character building skills, ability for them to manage emotions. I think it is the responsibility of business leaders to really think about why are we building the solutions we're building, how are we treating our employees, our customers, our users, and then of course what we build. When it comes to leadership, I cannot emphasize this trait enough, and it's the trait of integrity. We will not trust leaders when we don't believe that their intentions and interests align with our best interests.